So hello and welcome guys, if your computer is old and performing very badly with time, well you can make it fast or at least faster with an SSD, which is a solid state disk drive, an alternative of HDD your normal disk drive. Modern day laptop or desktop PC comes with an SSD but if your system is old, you can try getting an SSD and find it by yourself. And to help you choose an SSD, I have got an SSD from Kingston. This is a budget SSD available for around 3000 rupees. And now let's get started with the unboxing of the product. So it came in this slim Amazon packaging. No cardboard box or extra layer has been added. And this is how the packaging looks like. Simple and clean. Q500 written over here and that's the model name. It comes in 240GB of size and it says 10x faster than a normal 7200rpm HDD. The MRP is of 3650 rupees and I got it for around 2200 rupees during a sale last year. And yes, I have been using this SSD for more than a year now, so I thought of making a video on it and give out my experiences. Let's take out the product now. I did not want it to cut the pack so tried taking out in other way. And here it is, the Kingston Q500. The casing seems to be of metal and the build quality is good, no complaint over the build quality. But coming to the speed of the drive, I will show you in a while. This is the box with a normal SATA power and a SATA cable for data. You don't need a cable or accessories to let you know if you don't know about it. And it is a 2.5 inch drive so it will fit in any case or in your laptop. Now coming to the most important feature, the speed. I ran a speed test on both the SSD and HSD that I have in my system. And the SSD did perform better. The read and write speed were above 500 MB per second and the HDD were giving around 200 MB per second. So yeah, the SSD performed much better than an HDD. The loading time, opening of application and installing a file is faster. And as I have mentioned before that I bought the SSD last year so I have been using for more than a year now and I have not faced any issue till now. And also the boot time is around 25 to 30 seconds for me as I made it as my boot drive. And to conclude, I would say that you can also consider this SSD if your budget is tight or you are coming from an HDD, you will surely notice this speed. However, there are also costier SSD from Samsung Crucial etc brands available in more capacity option and now there are also M.2 type SSD which is connected directly on the motherboard M.2 port. No cable are required. Well, that would be for another video topic and that's all for today guys. Please do subscribe if it was helpful and informative and do like and comment. Thanks for watching. Stay home, stay safe.